Hello and welcome to this tutorial video showing you how to clear up your cache on your iPhone and just offload all the different data that it stores automatically from different uh, services and apps. And this will help you speed up a slow phone or free up storage if that's what you're looking to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be talking about offloading apps. So if you open up your settings application here and you go to general. So if we go to general and then you go to iPhone storage, which will be about halfway down the page, uh, depending on how many apps you have on your phone, it should take uh, a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes for this to load. But while it loads, I want to show you an option here at the very top that should say offload unused apps. Now, uh, it tells me that I can save over 19 gigabytes of space by automatically offloading unused apps that I haven't used in like the past 7 to 10 days. So if I enable that, it will automatically, it will not delete everything or delete all the things that I need from, from those apps. It'll just remove those apps and the data from my phone uh, since I'm not using them on a regular basis. And then when I do need them, uh, I can go and re-download very quickly. So you can just enable that option there and it'll automatically have a green check mark by it and it'll offload the apps that you very infrequently use. Now, let's talk about doing this for individual apps. So if I know that I'm not using this app right here very frequently, I will tap into that specific app and there's going to be an option there that says offload app. When I tap on the offload app option, I will tap on it once more. It'll completely remove the app from my device, but still the documents and data remain if I want to re-download it and I can get up and running very quickly. This is just a great way of freeing up space and clearing some cash on your device. So again, go back to the individual apps, find the ones that you don't use very frequently, uh, tap into them, and then just go to offload app. There's a big difference in offload and delete. Delete the app will delete the app and all of the related data from the device. And so when you reinstall the app, there's a lot more of a setup process involved. Now, before I move on to the next one, I would have to mention that obviously if you force restart your device, if you're having issues or if the device is running slow, in order to do this, you hold up on the volume tab and then you also hold the power button on the other side of your device and it'll automatically force restart and that might fix the issues or lagginess that you are experiencing. All right, next one is going to be Siri and Dictation. In order to get here, go to Settings and open up your Settings app. And then once here, I want you to go to where you see Siri and Search. It'll be somewhere midway down the screen there. And then under Siri and Search, I want you to go to where you see Siri and Dictation History. Tap into that there. And then you're going to see a red text that says Delete Siri and Dictation History. Now, remember, when you do this, uh, basically all the things that it's learning within kind of trying to figure out what you're saying in your voice, uh, it will delete some of that data, if not all of it. But if you go ahead and tap into delete Siri and dictation history, uh, and then tap it once more, uh, it will delete that. And you can see the request was received, uh, and it will be deleted, not instantaneously, uh, but with, you know, a couple of hours or, you know, a few minutes in time. So that would be the Siri and dictation history option there. Next is going to be your web browsers. So the first one's going to be the native Safari on your iPhone. So go to your settings app once more and then scroll down until you see the Safari app right there. Tap into Safari. And then once we are here under Safari, I want you to scroll all the way down to where you see something that says clear history and website data. If I tap into clear history and website data, it will remove all of your history, your cookies and other browsing data. Uh, it will also be cleared from like your iCloud account. So remember if you're use, using it or utilizing it on another device, it will be cleared there as well. So tap the clear history and data red option there. And it also gives you the option to close or keep your tabs. I'm going to close my tabs because I'm a little bit of a, I got a tab problem, but go ahead and do that. And you are good to go. Next, we will look at Chrome. So if you use a third party uh, web browser like I do, which is Chrome, go into Chrome here, open up Chrome, and then tap into those three dots there at the bottom of the page. And you should see where you can access the settings and all of that fun stuff there. If we scroll down, we should see something here that says clear browsing data. 
tap into clear browsing data, it's going to give you the option to clear not only your browsing history, but the cookies, the cached images and files. And this could be a you know, one of the number one reasons why your device is running so slowly. So go ahead and tap the red clear browsing data button at the bottom, tap it once more, and that's going to clear your browsing data on Chrome. Another thing I like to talk about is individual apps. As you can see here, I have all my social networking apps in one folder. If you go to these apps, just Google how to clear history or data in these apps and do them individually if that's something that you want to do. Uh, that's kind of the next step below offloading or deleting the app from your device. And that might be what's bogging you down when you're browsing. Next, we're gonna take a look at location services. So open up your settings app once more and I want you to go down to where you see something that says privacy and security. Tap into privacy and security. And then once you're here, I want you to, at the very top there, you'll see something that says location services. If that is turned on, go ahead and tap into that there and then scroll all the way to the bottom. You're gonna see all the different apps that are able to use your location, which might scare you. And then I want you to tap on system services there at the very bottom and then scroll down once more and you're going to see something here that says significant locations. It should be at the bottom of the first list. If we tap into significant locations, it will then ask you for your passcode or face ID to log in. Once you're logged in, it will show you kind of the different locations that it's saved. If you've ever received a notification or a pop-up of like, this is how long it's going to take you to get home or to get to this destination. Like if you go to church on Sundays, it'll tell you, you know, how long it is to get to your church on Sundays because it knows kind of where you go. It kind of understands your patterns. This is what significant locations are. And you'll see a blue button at the bottom that says clear history. Just tap the clear history option there and then tap it once more. And that's going to clear out all of those records uh, that it has in its database or cache. So those are the big ones for speeding up and making your device run better. Uh, if you have any more, put those in the comment section below that you found kind of helpful for you. That way folks coming to this video can utilize that information as well. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.